Welcome to the Your Courageous Life podcast, where we discuss psychology and tools to help you create better habits, cultivate discipline, and live with courage, aka grit and emotional resilience. I'm your host, Kate Swoboda. Learn more about my books and get additional resources at yourcourageouslife.com. And now, here's today's episode. Hello, everybody. It's another episode of Tiny Courage. The Tiny Courage series is part of the larger Your Courageous Life podcast, but it's just about a 10-minute episode where we just get into the, the little tiny moments of courage. Sometimes it'll be a, remind for, a reminder, sometimes it'll be mindfulness, other times I might pull in an exercise. I'm going to vary it up a little bit, but short and sweet episodes, time efficient, reminders for you of ways that you can practice tiny courage in your life right here and right now. And today, this episode is going to be about a practice that you can use to up-level your life. And when I say a practice, I mean literally practice. I am always standing shoulder to shoulder with you using these tools, and sometimes I'm better at them, other times I'm not. You're not alone in that. But the commitment to continually come back to using the tool is what makes it powerful. So here is the tool. It's a decision that I made just a couple of months ago. I can't recall where it came from, but the thought came to me that I was I was stewing in something essentially. I was complaining. I was just feeling gritchety and just like nothing was working out and I was upset about it. And the thought came to me that complaining about things that are going on in your life is such an affront to life itself on some level. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be human and that you can't ever complain. But essentially, I looked around at my life and I realized I'm complaining about doing what it takes to live the life that I want to live, that I made the choices to actually cultivate. So essentially, up-leveling your life with this one decision Stop complaining about doing what it takes to live the life that you want to live. When I really sat with this for a while, it was so profound. So consider this for yourself. Is there anything in your life that you're complaining about currently that is the direct result of choices that you made to put that thing, that person, that situation into your life and that you actually want in your life. Let me give you an example, okay? This is not what I was complaining about on that particular day. Um, But for instance, a lot of times parents, because they're worn out and frustrated and overextended and under-resourced, will sometimes complain about the things that their children are doing. And isn't it just a good reminder to ourselves that we don't want to complain about doing what it takes to have the things in our lives that we actually want to have in our lives. The fingerprints on the walls, the dirty dishes that are left out, the socks that somehow never make it into the washer and then your kid's going, but mom, I don't have any socks. Those things can be so annoying and so frustrating, especially when you yourself are under-resourced, overextended, trying to juggle 15 million things. And so sometimes we might go into complaining because we're venting, because we're really full of these challenging emotions. It doesn't mean we don't love our kids. But how does it diminish your life to complain about what your kids are doing when in fact you want them in your life? You want them in your life. You know, here's another example. Running a business is hard. Here I am, I'm I'm running a business, been doing it for many years. Running a business is hard. One of my particular triggers is when something is not working on the tech end of things and I'm going, I don't know what to do. I've read all the help articles. You know, I'm going on to the chat for that particular software and trying to get the support team to respond to my messages. It's taking forever. I just want to get this done. You know, like all that can start. And then it becomes complaining. But hold on a minute. Why complain about this thing that I want in my life, which is my business? 
We can do this with so many different things. We can complain about the houses that we live in and the states or cities or countries that we live in. We can complain about our partners. We can complain about our friends. We can complain about the job. And it doesn't mean that we should just shut up and pretend as though things that don't bother us don't actually bother us. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it doesn't in my life, and I think if you think about this, you'll find it doesn't particularly support your life either to complain. Either I need to do something to change my circumstances or I need to accept my circumstances. We can sometimes forget that the hard things in life, the work that we have to go through, the challenges that we encounter, that can sometimes be what it takes to live the life that we say we want to live. Entrepreneurship being another great example, like I said, of that, that yes, entrepreneurship is harder in some ways than having a salary job, but I want to do what it takes to live the life I want to live. Writer and coach Jerry Colonna has this great question he says he asks his clients, which is, how are you complicit in creating the conditions that you say you don't want? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Because if the conditions are the ones that I want, why am I complaining? And if the conditions are the ones I don't want, how is my complaining adding to cultivating more of what I don't want? So this is how we can move into tiny courage. Try practicing it for an hour. It can be a little challenging to even practice it for an hour. Challenge yourself to practice it for a day. No complaining about anything that you say you want in your life. If you want the marriage in your life, don't complain about your husband, address the behavior. If you want your kids in your life, don't complain about your kids, address the behavior. If you want your job in your life, no complaining about your job, find the things that you need to do to shift it in a more positive direction or find a new job. But the complaining actually doesn't support us in the ways that we think it will beyond maybe five minutes. So that is your moment of tiny courage for today. Let me know how it goes. All right, that's today's episode of the Your Courageous Life podcast. Thank you for listening. To dive in deeper and continue the work, head on over to yourcourageouslife.com. See you there.